the house at number 13. In a quiet suburban town, nestled between rows of charming houses. There stood an old Victorian mansion. At number 13. Its dark, looming structure seemed to cast. A perpetual shadow over the neighborhood. And its unsettling history. Whispered through the hushed conversations of curious neighbors. The Smith family. New to the area, moved into the house next door, to number 13 with excitement and hope. Little did they know that their dream home would become a nightmare. It all began innocently enough with strange noises. In the dead of night, faint whispers and eerie creaks that echoed through the walls. The Smiths dismissed it as the quirks of an old house, settling into its new inhabitants. As weeks passed, the peculiarities escalated. Late one evening, Mrs. Smith spotted her neighbor from number 13. A middle-aged man named Mr. Blackwood, standing in their backyard, staring blankly at their house. When confronted, he mumbled apologies and retreated to the shadows. Disturbed, the Smiths decided to delve into the history of number 13. Local records unveiled a chilling tale of a family that had met a tragic end within its walls decades ago. Rumors whispered of occult rituals and an unexplained disappearance that had shrouded the house in a sinister reputation. The Smith's unease reached its peak when their daughter, Lily, claimed to have seen ghostly figures moving within their home. Desperate for answers, they approached other neighbors for solace, only to discover that many had experienced their own unsettling encounters linked to the ominous house at number 13. The breaking point came when the Smiths decided to investigate the abandoned mansion. Armed with flashlights and trepidation, they entered the decaying structure. The air inside was heavy with an otherworldly presence, and the walls seemed to echo with the tormented whispers of the past. In the basement, they stumbled upon a hidden chamber adorned with arcane symbols and remnants of occult paraphernalia. The shocking revelation left them, paralyzed with fear. The sinister history of number 13 had not been buried. With the family, who once lived there, it had persisted, waiting to ensnare the unwitting souls. Who dared to reside in its proximity? The Smiths, fueled by terror, sold their house. And left the neighborhood, leaving behind, the ominous whispers, of number 13. The dark secrets of that haunted mansion continued, to cast a shadow over the once quiet. Suburban town, a cautionary tale for anyone, who dared to think that the past, could be forgotten. Shadows across the fence. In a quaint suburban neighborhood, the Johnsons were a typical family. Their sense of security shattered, when a new neighbor, Mr. Blackwood, moved into the seemingly vacant house next door. From the beginning, something about Mr. Blackwood was off-putting. The Johnsons began to notice odd occurrences, strange symbols drawn on the sidewalk, outside Mr. Blackwood's home, bizarre late-night gatherings, and an overpowering stench that seemed to seep through the walls. Concerned, they decided to investigate, only to find that their neighbor's basement was a chilling gallery, of unsettling artwork and macabre sculptures. Disturbed by the discovery, the Johnsons reported their findings to the local authorities. The investigation uncovered, a history of disturbing, behavior, including an obsession with the occult. Mr. Blackwood had a criminal record. That hinted at more, sinister activities, and the neighborhood. Was shocked to learn they, had been living next door to someone with such a dark past. As the legal proceedings unfolded, Mr. Blackwood's behavior escalated. He began leaving cryptic messages on the Johnson's doorstep and staring at them through the windows. The once quiet neighborhood transformed into a place filled with paranoia and fear. In an attempt to escape the nightmare, the Johnsons considered moving. However, the more they tried to distance themselves, the more relentless Mr. Blackwood became. 
He seemed to be everywhere, a shadowy figure haunting, their every step. The situation reached its climax. One stormy night, when the Johnsons woke to find their house. Surrounded by hooded figures, chanting ominous incantations. Terrified, they barricaded themselves in their home and called the police. The cult-like gathering, dispersed before the authorities, arrived, leaving behind a traumatized family. And the neighborhood forever, changed. Despite Mr. Blackwood's eventual arrest, the Johnsons never fully recovered. The disturbing events had left an indelible mark. On their lives, a constant reminder that the line between safety and horror could be as thin as the fence separating one neighbor from another. The Vanishing Act In a quiet suburban town, the Andersons moved into their dream home. Excited about the fresh start. Their joy was short-lived, however. When peculiar events unfolded next door. The Johnson house, previously occupied by a reclusive. Elderly couple, had a new resident, Mrs. Blackwell. Mrs. Blackwell was a mysterious woman. With a penchant for collecting vintage dolls. The Andersons noticed her peculiar habits. Like standing in her backyard late at night, surrounded by flickering candles. Initially dismissing it as eccentricity. They soon realized there was something much darker at play. One day, the Andersons' youngest daughter, Emily, went missing. Panic set in as they searched the neighborhood and Mrs. Blackwell's unsettling gaze made them uneasy. Desperation led them to investigate Mrs. Blackwell's home, where they discovered a room filled with antique dolls that eerily resembled missing children from across the decades. Each doll bore a name, a date, and a chilling story. The room seemed frozen in time, a macabre museum of lost souls. The Andersons' horror reached its peak when they found a doll with Emily's name and the current date. Frantic, they confronted Mrs. Blackwell, who calmly admitted to a dark secret. She possessed an otherworldly ability to capture the essence dot of children and trap it within her dolls, granting them a form of twisted immortality. Emily's essence, she claimed, was now part of her collection. The Andersons, determined to save their daughter, sought help from a local paranormal investigator. Together, they delved into a realm where the living and the supernatural collided. Mrs. Blackwell, revealed to be a centuries-old entity, fought fiercely to maintain her dark power. In a climactic confrontation, the Andersons and the investigator managed to break the curse, freeing not only Emily, but the trapped souls of countless other children. Mrs. Blackwell's house crumbled into dust, leaving behind a void. Where unspeakable horrors had transpired. The Andersons moved away, forever scarred by the ordeal. But the memory of Mrs. Blackwell's vanishing act lingered in the whispers of the town. The dolls were gone, but the horror of their twisted existence remained etched. In the minds of those who had witnessed the macabre truth next door. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more episode.